points where f is not differentiable. Differentiable means where f does not have a slope. f means a function. For instance, if I have this particular graph, that's my graph. Do you understand that that orange dot, there is no slope? Isn't my slope at that orange dot vertical? And is a vertical line have slope? So again, when you see differentiable, it means slope. So do we have a slope at this orange dot? No, so that's situation one. If your line ever goes vertical, you do not have a slope. It does not have something called a derivative. Next, if you have this kind of graph, usually an absolute value graph. Do you have a slope at that point? No, it doesn't have one slope this way, one slope this way. Doesn't it doesn't have basically have two slopes. Yeah. Which one do you choose? You don't have a choice. This is an example. Number two, whenever it goes to a jagged edge, you do not have slopes. Okay, Because you actually have two slopes and you can't choose. This slope is undefined. This slope is jagged, has two slopes. You can't choose which one it is. And the third point that has no slope, basically, is that one pretty obvious? Yeah. Doesn't have a limit, doesn't have a slope. Doesn't, they don't even hit. They have two different slopes. They don't kind of meet at all. So if you have a break, that's a third where you do not have a slope or derivative. So you'll get familiar with these over time. Now, the last thing I'm going to say, and then I'll kind of run through everything kind of, differentiability implies continuity. If I say something's differentiable, meaning it has a slope, do you understand it also has to be continuous? If I say something has slopes, a graph, you can find a slope at any point on a graph. That means that graph has to be continuous. Is this continuous? No. That's why it doesn't have a slope. Now, by the way, number three could also be this kind of graph. I'm sorry. Does that have a slope at an asymptote? Now, are you okay with just basically this third one is a break? You guys okay with that? Any kind of break. I should have put asymptotes or whole or breaks. So these are both the same idea. Do you understand that these two will not have a slope at the break? But these two, differentiability implies continuity. Meaning if it has a slope, it is different. Sorry. If it has a slope at all points, it has to be continuous. Is the inverse true? Actually, let me start with this. If f is differentiable, x equals c. Meaning if it has a slope at a given point, <coughs> then the function is continuous at that point. So if we know something is differentiable or has a slope, we can say without a doubt it also is continuous at that point. But can we say the opposite? If it's continuous, does this always true? No, because if it's continuous, don't these two counteract that statement? Are these both continuous? Yes, but do they have a slope? No. So is the inverse of this statement true? No, only it goes this way. But this statement right here, the reason I have it in this box, is very important when you come to the AP test. You have to completely understand this concept that if it's differentiable, then it implies it's continuous. <coughs> and you really have to understand that these three situations do not have slopes or derivatives. And going back to this, you will mostly have to know these box of terms Basically, there's like several, four different ways to say derivative. This you will quickly forget, okay? But there will be s problems here and there with this type, but it's more the leading into what the derivative is. And lastly, the derivative is just trying to find the slope, and you're taking a secant line and squishing it to the point you have a tangent line. That's why I have an arrow here, from secant to the tangent. 
that idea of going and going and going to the point that change of x approaches zero, that develops something called the derivative. 